Alrighty guys, what's up my dudes, it's Goonzig here and welcome back to some more MXGP Pro gameplay here on the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video as well with the kickoff of our career mode playthrough. But today guys, we're changing it up a little bit and I thought... I thought I would do a video where I can actually dive in and just talk about a certain topic. Like, I like doing these videos where I hop in and kind of analyze a topic and give you guys my opinion on it. So that's exactly what we'll be doing here today. I want to go over the helmet cam in Monster Energy Supercross and actually, like, compare it to the helmet cam here in MXGP Pro. There definitely have been some improvements when it comes to MXGP Pro, but what exactly have they changed to make the helmet cam that much better? Better. That's exactly what I'll be discussing today, guys. Let's get right in to the video. I'm currently running a giveaway for a $20 gaming gift card of your choice throughout the entire month of July. All you have to do to enter is like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and throw a comment down below with your Twitter handle for your chance to win. The winner will be selected at the beginning of August and notified on Twitter. Of course guys we are still running the giveaway for July as long as I have a way to get in touch with you guys then you guys can enter it doesn't have to be through Twitter so leave your comments down below also let me know down below which game has your favorite first person camera and why mine would probably be like MX simulator because nothing beats throwing like a big old whip in that game you know coming up and just rah, throwing down nothing beats it in first person but that's besides the fact if you enjoy be sure to smash that thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's get into the juicy parts of the video so I decided to hop in and just do some laps in helmet cam in both games that's really the simplest way to do it I wanted to make this video on both things that I noticed while playing and while watching gameplay through the helmet cam view so not just like me sitting down and playing I actually like went back and watched gameplays and you know I just wanted to get like a full overview and a full look at both helmet cams in both games so I dove into Monster Energy Supercross to start off and I actually loaded up the compound i went ahead and i did some laps on both the national and the supercross tracks and then did the same thing in mxgp pro i loaded up the compound and did laps on both tracks i thought this would be a fun and also like a fair way to compare both of the games just by getting like both types of tracks supercross and nationals i thought that was like the easiest way to do it now mxgp pro does have an enduro section that is part of the compound but that's a story for another video i didn't touch it here in helmet cam honestly though when it comes down to the differences there there really aren't many the helmet camera itself is pretty much the exact same but with mxgp pro being the newer game it does have it does have like this this better feel to it it feels better overall the helmet cam in monster energy supercross is a little choppy and jerky it feels like it isn't like 100 percent smooth and sometimes your rider acts like a bobblehead he's like a bobblehead i find it super hard to tell like where the bike is and sometimes the bike completely disappears from your screen it makes it really tough when you're trying to like line yourself up for landings and going through corners and stuff and it results in like a lot of costly mistakes like you want to be able to see your bike or at least the front end in helmet cam in mxgp pro they've went ahead and pretty much just updated or upgraded the helmet cam it runs fluid and smooth that's the simplest way to put it the biggest changes are that it runs fluid and smooth there's no choppiness and the movements feel relatively realistic there's really not a lot of like bobblehead action going on in this game it's one big change that i've noticed just like how fluid the gameplay is while in helmet cam another bonus is that <laughs> your bike is on the screen at least like 98 percent of the time at least like 98 percent of the time you get to see your bike in mxgp pro being able to see like the front end of the bike is a huge part it plays a huge part when you're playing in helmet cam like it, it can make it or break it for me the bike moves under you like the bike does move but since the front fender and everything is visible it makes it like really easy to get a feel for the bike and you don't like lose track of where your bike is like you do in monster energy supercross everything just seems to be almost like tweaked in order to make it a little more enjoyable here in mxgp pro when comparing it to monster energy supercross now both of the helmet cams aren't 
perfect, but the developers over at Milestone are definitely heading in the right direction, and the improvements in MXGP Pro show that they're on the right track. They're, they're not going the wrong way, they're going the right way with Helmet Cam. Now the whips, that's another different story. The whips are going backwards, guys, but the one big difference I did notice with the Helmet Cam, which is actually like a weird one, is that in Monster Energy Supercross, the Helmet Cam gameplay feels really, really fast like it feels really fast while in mxgp pro like it's completely different the helmet cam gameplay feels extremely slow like really really slow and it's weird that games with like such similar cameras can actually feel so different like so different while you're playing them physics wise and like handling wise they're pretty much identical but geez man the helmet cam in monster energy supercross is like you're riding a rocket it's actually insane it doesn't really change the gameplay though, it's it's kind of just something I noticed, like you just get used to it while you're playing, kind of the tracks are kind of spaced for it better and everything, so it's just the two differences within the game, the two different games that bring, you know, super fast riding in Monster Energy Supercross and then super slow riding in MXGP Pro. It's just the way the games play. After thinking about it, I think if you like the Monster Energy Supercross helmet cam, then you will have no issues. Like you will actually have no issues getting used to the MXGP Pro helmet cam because they're just that similar. Like they're almost identical. So really there you have it. The simplest way to put it is that the helmet cam in MXGP Pro is significantly smoother and just makes for better gameplay overall. There really aren't any huge differences, but it is better in MXGP Pro. Let me know your thoughts on the helmet cam down below, guys. Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. Turn on those post notifications and subscribe to never miss a video. We have a ton of gaming content coming your way all year long. Remember guys, oppose nothing, conquer everything. Peace out.